Shooting in the Bronx is restarting a local organization's role in the community after gang-related gun violence at a subway station left one person dead and several others injured. A CBS News Bronx community reporter Shosh Bedrosian reports on why community groups say more work is important than ever before. As rush hour began Monday evening in the Bronx, chaos followed when gunfire erupted at the Mount Eden train station. New York is in mourning for the six people who were harmed including one who lost his life. Police say a total of six victims, most of them innocent bystanders, were caught in the crossfire of a dispute between two rival groups. Bullets have no names on them. David Kaba, the executive director of Bronx Rises Against Gun Violence, or BRAG, says his team responded to St. Barnabas Hospital to engage with the victims. When the, some of the victims came in and their family members, we had our team there at the location and ensuring that resources and services were provided. Not only does Bragg work with victims after a shooting, they offer them and youth in high-risk communities programs that could put them on a better path in life and curb violence in the neighborhood. Two, three, two, three. CBS 2's community journalism team recently reported on Bragg's boxing program that turns around lives in the borough. So Bragg really does see the benefit of community services and programs when teens take it there's a difference in the community. Yes, your report on Bragg Boxing. All of those young people that are in that, they're learning the curriculum, they're understanding self-defense and discipline, and they're moving in the right direction. Kaba says the shooting at Mount Eden has renewed his interest to expand their services in the neighborhood after the gang violence, but he says he needs more funding to make it happen. When it comes to our young people, one thing we know is that when you provide the services to improve their lives on an educational level, a housing level, an employment level, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, they took full, take full advantage of these opportunities and these resources. In the Bronx, Shosh Bedrosian, CBS 2 News.